hello 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 everyone i hope you're having that wonderful day and if not maybe by the time we're done with this reading you'll be on your way <laughs> this is uh cynthia mello your gypsy life cheerleader yeah your tarot reader yeah oh and she's just reading from the monday deck for a Monday tarot read. Might as well start our week off with a Monday tarot to find our better way of the week, huh? Yeah. Why not? Why not? I do have a um, hidden feelings chart that is free that if you want to download it, it's down there. Uh, yeah. This card's are flipping out now. Let's tell us our story. Tell us our story as we go along. We had the Ace of Pentacles be the first card out. It says we have new ideas. We have new things that are in place that are taking for new beginnings that is uh, uh, grounded, uh, grounded uh, financial um, security, solid. Yeah, that was our first card out. And then the next card is the Knight of Wands going, yeah. I, I'm watching the show and seeing how this can be done easily. And it says it's because you become grounded and you can see clearer. You can see further. You can see more because some ob obstacles have been lifted out of your way. Because uh, you've been working through things and because of that you're able to see things clearer from a better way. You've actually been watching how hard the divine feminine has been working all on her own and moving those emotional thoughts around shifting them so they're coming out better so they're not staying the same they're actually those are in waves going wee it's like instead of getting instead of going into you they're coming out because you're done holding on to them well, that's the hard work yeah the hard work is actually moving them and he's watching the divine masculine is watching <clears throat> here he's just twiddling around with his stick and here he's after he has a clear vision and could see more and further he's starting to stand tall and own himself and have a, some light there to help him see and then this one there's no light okay next 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 Monday Tarot is telling us a Monday story. Telling us about our masculine self and our feminine self. That, I love this deck. It really helps align the emotional self. Yeah, he's been watching how the Queen of Wands, you got the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands came out and says, yeah, I'm still holding my spot and feeling good about who I am and not letting anything knock me over. And no matter how many, no matter how heavy it gets, I'm still able to move the stuff. That's the Divine Feminine saying that. So we got Queen and King out there. She's holding on to her, her pole, and he's holding on to his. They both have had growth. She's had more personal growth. He's had more... Uh, eye-opening growth okay let's see what's the next card out for all of us to see yeah, yeah it's um two one that's taking both both of you going down your path and it's been up and down and up and down and up and down it's like <sighs> you almost feel like it's been happening so long you can do this just hanging upside down just you don't even have to hold on anymore because you know exactly where that up and down and up and down is going to take you. And it's going to, uh, you're working through all of those emotional thoughts as they come through. So let's see, let's see what's next. Excuse me. Wait, well balance balance is starting to happen this is infinite balance balance within both masculine and feminine 
by looking down the road, looking through both doors, looking through the good door and looking through the bad door, looking through light and darkness. And what's that bring you? The Two of Cups. Unconditionally loving yourself, whole and complete, which brings in that whole and complete feeling back at you. So it's an equal exchange. It's in balance. It's in balance. And it's equally being exchanged. And I tell you, with those good cards coming out that way, and I always wonder if I should go past a card, but yeah, it says go ahead. All right. Now, um, there we go. It still is saying um, the divine. Uh, Feniment went ahead and moved forward with all her crafts, all her ideas, all her skills, all her talents that she saw was so beautiful. She didn't let nobody stop them. She kept working them. And by her doing that, brought in this nice, blissful feel amongst both parties. This is like the heart that binds them both. And then there's four here and four here. So we got four cups and four cups. So they both did their work to bring them together. I never know what the cards are going to say each and every day. You're, where um, the masculine self was able to become the emperor, hold himself back. Hold himself back from the ways that he used to be or thought things should go. Staying grounded, knowing when it's time to act and not. Which brought the Ten of Pentacles, which is... Being grounded with your material items, with your financial, uh, feeling secure, and on your emotional level, where you're operating from your higher self, from your better self, from your loving self. So who wouldn't want that? I think we all would like that, to be operating from our best self and feeling whole, feeling complete, feeling loved, feeling amazing. Feeling like everything is already provided for us. Everything is taken care of. We can trust in that. We trust in that. I like ending on the Ten of Pentacles. But I'm going to just go just a little bit more. Just because the cards are still shuffling. Yeah. We get, of course, they're still shuffling because we have the emperors that came forward to be with the emperor. Now that he's restraining himself and allowing her just to be her, of course the cards were waiting for that. And, and, and that is right in between the Ten of Pentacles, which is uh, feeling emotionally taken care of and uh, stability financially taken care of. You know, having all, everything, all your ducks in order with her just being her and him holding back from thinking he's got to be a different way to respond in a different way. He's allowing her to feel that way that brought the happy story forward with bliss, allowing her to keep creating her dream with her magic show, whatever it is. It says, it says do I want to read more? It says, you don't need to. Oh, well, okay. Well, I'll check more. And when did it come out? We have the... Um, Prince of Pentacles is like now because of her gifts that she's been doing she's able to produce more and offer more and be more radiant and more uh, stable more whole just you know she's like I I have these things that I know that I can offer she has something to offer that is of value and the highest priest came up and it says, yes, it's because you learned how to balance everything, no matter what shape it came in, no matter what size it came in, you were able to balance these things. And so this card's like, I'm going to allow the magic show to happen because you've been creating magic all along. So she's lifting any illusion that used to be there. She's saying, bye-bye, illusion. We're going to go on and allow her to... Keep being this best her. 
Okay, any more cards want to come out? And if they come out right away, I'll say yes. And if they take too long, I'll say no. Oh, there we go. Of course, we've got the Ten of Pentacles already down there. And we got the Ten of Cups. Feeling grounded, feeling whole, feeling complete, feeling rounded, like you've taken care of all those emotional feels. Um, they're all in, in their perfect spot and their perfect order. And to get that with your Ten of Pentacles, I mean, this doubles the love. This makes it more powerful, more standing in that spot. So we had the Emperor and the Empress come together. <clears throat> we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups that came together. <clears throat> and then we have the Highest Priest that says, hey, we're making this happen. <clears throat> then we also had the <clears throat> King of Wands with the Queen of Wands come out at the beginning. And they just feel like they're going through the same old story and you know they decide somehow they get balanced and grounded and they were able to see through all their illusions to bring that two of cups back forward to un unconditionally loving all of you no matter what rather, rather it was from the dark side or the light side you were like ah, I just love who I am that's it and so that is your reading for today and this Monday tarot read for this Monday from your Monday tarot deck and loving every bit of it being here for you for each day of the way to bring your story forward and remember to like share and subscribe so the message that i'm putting out there can get out there to a bigger audience so they can all feel the better way and start healing in themselves okay till next time have a wonderful day